And welcome back to coverage here of the New Capenna Championship. Marshall Sutcliffe with Paul Cheon. Paul, we've been talking a lot about world championship races, trying to get people into their seats for those uh, for that event. And uh, right now we have a match with major implications on just that. We've got Marcio Carvalho versus Piotr Glogowski. And as you can see, uh, it's Esper Midrange versus Jesse. And now the bigger picture view as we come into game number two with Marcio up a game is Marcio is currently sitting in sixth with Piotr in seventh for the league standings. Remember only the top five from them are gonna make it in, but sixth and seventh is hotly contested. I mean, these, these two players are very, very much in contention for that world seat. And Paul, this isn't just a win and I keep moving. This is a win and knock my, ne my nearest competitor, my neighbor on the standings down a rung while I go up a rung. So it's a very high leverage position for whoever can pick up this win. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Huge, huge match for both players. They're just just on the outside looking in, and a win continues to move them up the standings, and then, like you said, more importantly, just knocks them out. So so really, really big. And, uh, you know, this is uh, one of those classic matchups that we've seen kind of a lot over the course of this this weekend. And, um, you know, it seems to me that the, the Jeskai Storm deck has generally just been getting the better uh, in this matchup. So, yeah. Um, Curious to see kind of how everything shakes out, but this uh, this Jeskai Storm deck has been really fun to watch. It has a lot of play to it. You know, we were watching Alien Corey cover this last round, and you know, at some point, you've got sixteen cards in hand, and you've got you know Lear <laughs> filling up your your alternate hand, and you've got you know sixty mana or whatever. It gets pretty out of hand as far as the ceiling goes. When you look at the Asper mid-range deck, it's a much more mid-range focused deck that doesn't have nearly as high of a power ceiling. Wow, Kaito Suzuki gets countered there by Juari Disruption. That feels terrible if you're in Piotr's seat. Yeah, I, th I think he just kind of had to go for it. Next turn, he has the ability to go double Luminarch Aspirant, so he just wanted to curve out as well as possible. You cannot give this Jeskai Storm deck any time at all, right? Because if it gets set up with the treasures, with the unexpected windfalls, you can lose as early as turn five. Feels just unfair when they hit you with disruption though, right? Because they've got yeah. all this uh, stuff that's focused on their plan, like expressive iteration and stuff. And, uh, and instead they just nab your powerful planeswalker. Now, Marcio is tapped out this time. So that double Luminarch Aspirant play does get to come for Piotr Glugowski. So he'll have a nice board state going here, already up to four power. Yeah, and, and Marcio doesn't have a hard hard removal spell here to deal with this, so th this mm -hmm. will be pretty annoying, right? These are just going to continue to grow, but Marcio does not have a short does not have shortage of action still, right? I mean, we're still looking at that fading hope that can buy you some time, and then we do have that leer. Ooh, stainful stroke. Hey, this That's is a big. board worth protecting right here, right? Uh, these two Luminarch aspirants are a very quick clock. Yeah, and I predict that that card, Disdainful Stroke, its stock has risen in standard after yes, this tournament, right? That's right. You know, there's always the classic, how many negates and strokes do I play? Well, when um, a large portion of the field is going to be leaning heavily on Leer and Goldspan Dragon, you might want to go up on Disdainful Strokes over negates. That's right, and, we, and we've seen uh, Goldspan Dragon wax and wane in popularity and standard over its time there, but it's back on top again. The card basically just waits for the way to be clear and then come makes this big comeback again. You see the Luminarch <laughs> the Aspirin old, hit the battlefield. The what old fake the oops? oops. It's like, oh, I should have just, my Denik, it's in my, I, why didn't I, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, ah, <laughs> oh, shucks. Funny, funny. He'd like to leave Disdainful Stroke up on this key turn because here comes Goldspan Dragon. Ha! Huh. And Glugowski might want to throw another oops <laughs> at Marcio here because he's going to get in with the stainful stroke. Oh, man. Funny. Now, I think Marcio was... Marcio just kind of... Look, it's like you could have a counter spell, but I just still just... I need to run something out here. If you counter my dragon, then I still have the leader here as backup, right? Yeah, I mean, Marcio's not falling for any of this nonsense. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> he is a seasoned professional, and he probably uh, just has... You know, he probably just shook his head. Them. He's like, yeah. all right, you sure, got a buddy. counter, but whatever. 
Okay, here comes the Aspirants, though, and uh, he's again, he's managed to keep Marcio off balance just enough to keep this pressure going, but can he keep it up as we see reflection of Kiki Jiki hit? There's the attack with the token. That's going to generate a second treasure. Land, and here comes Lear. Yeah, and he, he's got the protection as well, right? He does have... Ooh, and this is a great Lear turn. Wow, you go hopes. strangle the Aspirant, and you still have Fading Hope up to protect your Lear. So now, Piotr, if he wants to get that Lear off the battlefield, which is probably in his best interest, is going to have to use both the removal spells that he has in hand. Oh, brutal. Good news is he actually has that option since they're both instants, but... It, it, it takes your entire turn to do so, It just so, though. eats up everything, doesn't it? And Piotr Perhaps. just just kind of going, please, just just balance my aspirant. Come on. Yeah. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Now, this or aspirant deck doesn't have a lot of reach, so you can probably afford to go down to five. And it looks like Marcio's oh. going to go for it here. There's oh. the Fading Hope. Jeez. And that's his last mana for the turn, so now Piotr gets to know exactly what's up. Marcio Carvalho. All right, so, so now Piotr's, Piotr doesn't have to worry about the Fading Hope. Land goes to the bottom off of the Scry there for Carvalho, but a nice little turn here for Piotr. He gets to pick off maybe even a couple of key threats. He could get the Aspirant going again. He might, yeah, he might just run out the Rafine just to have some mm -hmm. pressure on the battlefield. So kill your thing. Uh, reflection not especially strong right now. Right. So... But he can make another smoldering egg, Paul. True. True. And if <laughs> he can find seven mana worth of spells, could attack for four. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's expressive iteration or, <laughs> into egg, egg, all, windfall. All the eggs. Yeah. Looks like he's well stocked on eggs for now. So he'll take the unexpected windfall. I, I mean, you know, with, with that unexpected windfall, it's not going to take that long. No, it's not. He can cast the egg in this scenario as well. He'll get two treasure here. Piotr deciding whether or not he wants to run into a potential strangle here. Now, Marcio already did cast one, and there's only, I think, two in the deck. But could also have cards like Voltage Surge. Yeah, there's two. You're correct. Although, Voltage Surge would kill the Rafine anyways. Does he bring Torch Breath in? Unclear. Oh yeah, it's 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 for this matchup. So okay, there you go. So that's and why did Piotr he, didn't block. And did he not play the egg? He did not. Oh, he did. He did not. No, weird. He why did not? not play the egg, so he's keeping mana up. Interesting. So valuing that treasure and not play, playing the egg. That's right. All right, here comes Rafine Scheming Seer. It's going to get an attack, and he sees Tenacious Underdog. Not a bad one to have in your graveyard. A little mana intensive for this point in the game, but uh, it's unlikely to get through the Smoldering Egg anyway, unless Piotr has his eye on destroying it or exiling it. So he's going to put Tenacious Underdog in the yard, get in for two. Down to seven goes Marcio. Tick tock. Yeah, I, I'm still really confused why he didn't play the egg. I, I have know. not figured it out either. Uh, I, was, unless, I was hoping you did. did. Did he scry a gold span dragon to the top, or? Not, not according to our view here. He put a, he he scried an island at the bottom. Right. So there's infernal grass for the reflection. Okay. And now, I mean, Piotr does have the answer here for this egg. Mm -hmm. So so that is not going to flip. And Marcio needs to find an answer to this Rafine. He is down to seven life. It adds up fast with Rafine. There's a windfall. That's going to put the egg one away from transforming. You, you need to kill it in response here, yeah. So what's the reasoning there? Just because it'll go up. You don't want it to get to six. 
right? And mm -hmm. then if you let the unexpected windfall resolve, Martial could potentially have three spells at instant speed, mm -hmm. flip, 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 flip the egg, and then potentially deal a, a bunch of damage that Piotr did not want to have happen. I see. He could get in for two or four extra damage kind of for free there. Exactly. So here comes All right. the... Are we, are we going to use treasure this time? Or Okay. Marcio's a bit of a dragon. He he hoards his treasure. <laughs> but uh, he's going to spend one here to get the Fable of Mirror Breaker number two on the battlefield. He's also going to hang on to Otawara as a way perhaps to stem the bleeding from Rafine. Yeah. Spikefield Hazard will do some work here. We'll get that Aspirin off the battlefield before you get a, a, toke, uh, a plus one, plus one counter. I imagine Pewter's interested in just kind of riding this Rafine to victory. Marcio does have a does have the Otawara. Yeah, he's going to go for the Tenacious Underdog, which will give him an additional Rafine trigger as well. And also just oh. present more damage, of course. And does not play the Aspirin, so hoping to find a more relevant two-mana interactive spell here. And he finds... He does... Finds in the gate. Yeah, he's done with the whole aspirant plan, which is really oh, kind of this annoying. Is, uh, right. Yeah, and, and now this forces a block here. It does. This is a lethal attack. So Goblin's going to have to jump in front. Of course, Martial could choose to sack all of his treasure to Otawara, the, the underdog, I guess. Yes. Of course, it's Might easy to get to focused in these positions on how do you survive, but Marcio is going to be thinking about how can I win, right? right. That's, <sighs> that's often what gets lost in these discussions. And Marcio choosing to exile the underdog, although a part of me also wants, um, part of me also wants you to, part of me thinks you want that card to discard to Fable, right? If, if Piotr spends his turn using the, uh, bringing the underdog back, I think maybe you're okay with that? Yeah, I... It does. It feels because like a you close have the Otawara call. for Rafine. So what are you going to discard? But but I mean, it is a problem if this game does go long. Although this game feels like it's not going to go on for too many more turns, given the life totals. Yeah, there's that torch breath we talked about earlier. Fable. Okay, gonna, well, hey, that was a great pat, draw. Torch breath will actually kill Rafine here. Yeah, torch and and by exiling the. Um, Exactly, the Tenacious, tenacious underdog? underdog now. I mean, Piotr doesn't have any more threats, right? I don't see a creature land in play. No, and he... <laughs> funny, yeah, because he actually, you know, ended up discarding the Luminarch Aspirant to make that a lethal attack with and, the Rafine plus And the look underdog. at this. I mean, this plays around the gate as well. Torch Breath, a huge piece of technology here from, from Marcio's team. Wow. The can't what be countered is just a really Kali. great way. It also, it also uh, fights through Rafine's ward as well because just the spell cannot be countered. Wow, what a draw there for Marcio. That, so I mean... It looks like he's actually going for extra. There must be a, a pump spell or something that he's playing around, some type of protection. Um, I don't... Because he gets... Um... I don't get think the there is a... Here, right? is, yeah, th there might be a pump spell. I, I, uh, he's I undoing, he's undoing it all. Yeah, because he doesn't have to there's... spend any treasure. He you 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 just need the torch breath for five, right? Because but he, you get two extra. He did it for nine <laughs> for oh, a sure, second sure, there, sure. but now he's back down to the five, which is actually seven. Right. Okay. That you don't have to pay for the ward. <laughs> this is just so nerve wracking for Marcio because like, like, he doesn't pay anyways, that. just in case. Right. This is how it works, though, Marcio. You got it right. And there goes yeah. Rafine, and now there's okay. nothing on board here for Klogowski, and he sculpted his hand to be negate. Yeah, and he so finds Shipwreck gonna... Marsh. All right, so now now he's going to lean on that Denik. Boy, he's going to lean hard, too. It is a three-power flyer. It right? is. It's very so... good here. Oh, and there's oh. Molten Surge now for Marcio Carpolio. Okay. He's wow. ripping heavy now. 
Now, this is going to get negated because yes, this is, is Piotr's route to victory. But Marcio does have the backup here in the Otawara. He does. Wow, this has been a good one. It's never easy. Now, uh, trade these? <laughs> Uh, remember, Piotr's just, just life total is low, too. He's down to four. And remember, Otawara's ability is uncounterable. That's right. It's just a, it's an ability, no not even a give, spell. No There's Archon of Amiria, though. That's a nice draw there for Glagowski. It'll give him a blocker. Right. And if, I mean, if Marcio... Marcio must make this play, by the yeah. way. But then Piotr can play flyer. Archon of Emeria, and he'll have a... <laughs> and he also will get Denik back as well, which is a 2-3 lifelink on it's the ground. It's a lifelinker, so, so Marcio yeah. doesn't have a good attack on the ground. Either way. Yeah, he's not getting yeah. through. This is really interesting. Okay, two, so two Marcio threes. needs to find, like, a gold span dragon, maybe? Oh, my God. Expressive iteration. But you can't there cast is a spell. Hope. You can't cast a spell off the iteration. <laughs> oh, you're right. Maybe an instant that he could get into his hand. He sees Smoldering Egg, Big Score, I'm and just going to say, can you imagine if there was a Smoldering Egg in play through all of this? I right? still it never figured that out. Did chat yell at us or something? I, I don't uh, have it up. I assume I if, so. if we missed it, they would have been screaming. I just checked to see if there's a Narset in play, and if there's not, then I just I don't know. It could be anything. I'm used to getting yelled at, so that's okay, especially through, from chat, so... Does does Sokinzan get it done? No, because Denik has lifelink. Right? right. Exactly. So there's no there's no scenario here where Marcio gets in for a lethal attack. You could you probably want No, well you can't cast a big score because you only have big score in your hand. Wow, Archon. That was a nice one. Yeah, both the the fact that it's a two three was perfect for this board, and then of course its its abilities are mattering a lot here. Yeah, he does take Sokenzen into hand. Can't play it. No, nah, he tried. <laughs> he gave it a shot, but uh, it said no. Shipwreck Marsh off the top here for Glugowski. What a close one here. Oh my goodness! And remember the implications for World Championship too. These are. Sixth for Marcio, seventh for Glagowski. Now, now remember, Marcio can go end of turn, make a copy of the two two, and the, right. Yes. Which means he can potentially have six power attacking next turn with the Sokin Zen. That's eight power that's attacking. That's right? the right amount. If Piotr attacks with the Archon, Piotr blocks one of the two power creatures with Denik, takes six damage, and would die exactly. That's right. So if Piotr attacks. He loses. He loses. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, you know, he has a good reason to not attack, potentially, with Memory Deluge. He might just say, I'll sit, cast Memory Deluge to find a win. It looks like he's going to do it first. So he was going to try to figure out, do I have an alternate plan that could play around, say, something like a couple of cards like Sokenzin here? Right. If he can find maybe a one-mana interactive spell, I, don't, I can't imagine he kept... A ray of enfeeblement or something for this no. matchup. No, so. but it might give him a longer term game plan, right? Like, right. Where, okay, yeah. I, I don't win this turn anyway, like, but I'll I just lose? beat you next turn. Exactly. Right. Wow, obscure interceptor. So, because remember, Marcio got rid of the egg. Like, yeah. Piotr's like, oh, you kept something better than that, right? So he's going to have a pretty narrow down list of things that he could have. This is the moment, though. Does he attack with the Archon? Right. If he doesn't attack, he lives because Marcio will have eight eight creatures that can attack. You block the two two power creatures. You with the life link, you will go to two life after the dust settles. And, and honestly, unless Marcio finds something else, Piotr probably wins. That Obscura Interceptor has life link and can Marcio absolutely going, attack me. Havoc. He's like, come attack at me. me, come on, please attack me. Send You're tapped in. out. It's just safe. attack. I only come have on. one I, card. I have oh. just a. So <laughs> is he... No. No. Oh. oh. He still has an if archon attacks, as cued to attack, though. Marcio will win. Oh, what a sweat here from Glagowski. He's even <laughs> keeping Marcio I mean, on the Marcio's edge of his seat. It's like, he's thinking, what are the combinations of cards here? Is he going to hold back? 
He just brought it back, and he didn't okay, attack. He passed. Oh, Pyotr Glagowski giving us the full sweat. Thank now, you, Pyotr, for that. Remember, Marcio can still draw a removal spell. That's right. Right? And is he just going to go end of turn, utilize all your mana, or is he going to... Oh! Oh, hello, Goldspan that, Dragon. That's got to be enough. Yeah, that's it. You copy Goldspan Dragon, and that's, that's it. Marcio's right. going to win this. And that's what exactly lethal in the air. What a rip for Marcio Carvalho. <laughs> oh, man. He needed to find things multiple times.